black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? It's truly good with y'all. Rolling with a different format today. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes the normal videos get a little bit boring and uh, I have this griddle and I have all these ingredients off to the side that you can't see, but you will see them soon. And uh, it's deep in the late night and I was craving some like Korean street food style sandwiches. I've been deep in the YouTube holes of Korean street food where they like griddle everything. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. And uh, we're just gonna vibe out together and chuck it together. First thing we need is some breakfast sausages that I bought the other day and I put them in my like semi-freezer in like my small fridge or whatever and I completely kind of forgot about them if I'm honest. This is such a Korean street food move by the way. Just ripping the uh, griddle full of butter real quick so that you can you know just get everything browning and golden and not sticking but yeah we're gonna have some breakfast sausages because breakfast sausages are delicious i have this crazy lighting set up here i don't know how i'm really gonna look i think it should be okay maybe a little bit dark at times but i'm trying to get the attention more on the griddle as you can hear which is starting to do its thing thing so we're gonna have a few of those and by few, I mean six. Who's to say we have to eat them all? Save half a pack. We're also gonna kick this off with a couple hash browns. McDonald's style. She's steaming up and your guy's gotta crack a window. I can already tell that my face in this video is gonna get like beet red. So yes, go ahead and judge me. I have a fair skin complexion. When exposed to heat, it gets fired up. These griddles are so hard to control. If you're in the neighborhood to buy one, that is one thing I would say is they are so hard to control. This is a very unorthodox way to cook a hash brown. I feel like it is, but I mean, they're already technically cooked, so really all you gotta do is heat them up. Just remember that I will need ketchup for these sausages. All right, we moved these hombres to the rear of the bus. Now I've got some ham that I'm gonna wanna throw on the actual sandwiches. Steam dreams. I will say this, I was also kind of feeling very lazy, like I wanted to make this a cooking video, but doing all the, uh, the different angles and everything, it's just exhausting sometimes, so to have just one angle and get it done like this feels pretty dope to me. I need room for eggs and buns. It's that time of the video. You ain't nothing but a number in the system, kid. Look at these beauties. That's the very last second though. Can't rush greatness. I hate flipping eggs. Don't ask me why I'm trying this as a technique. I'm just intrigued, but I think it'll work. To steam the tops. Literally, I feel like a genius. I feel very Einstein, very mathematical. I can't wait. This is starting to look and smell so freaking good. I, I cannot wait to build these sandwiches. Welcome to the Terror Dome. Jesus, who knew ham was so violent? Molecular gastronomy. Okay, 
the final move a little bit better. Couple buns. Real, real quick. Come on, we got it, we got a fit. All right, time for the building station, but I think I want you in close for the actual construction, so I'm gonna bring you in. All right, y'all, let's build some dreams. First things first, perfect little toasty bun. Mayo. Hey, Valentina. Let's go. Amateur fork spread. But we all good still. I can't help but feel that the hash brown has to be at the base. Once that's there, we can hit it with a cheese slice. Just ready to peel. To melt that, we hit it with some hot crispy ham. Two, three slices on each. She's gonna be stupid, y'all. She is going to be stupid. And then, finally, just a simple, delicious, perfectly cooked egg. And that's a one for your money and done. I'm going to leave it like that because I want to taste the sauce on the bottom and I want that yolk to be prominent on the top. I don't want it interfered with. So, we top that bad boy. Alright. So, one there. Off to the side for a moment. Okay, on this one, a little bit of a different approach. I was thinking, definitely still a little bit of mayo. Mustard. I was thinking more along the lines of a ham and cheese type thing like a melted ham and cheese grilled, grilled cheese sandwich, but this is more of an egg version. Obviously we gotta hit it with the hash brown, clearly. Then we'll bring, oh my God, this ham, look at this ham. That is just stupidity in the most delicious form ever. So, ham on. Misplaced the cheese on this one, but oh well, we're gonna figure out where the cheese tastes better then. Perfect egg, looks very fake, very Playmobil-esque. Junior Kitchen, pop that on. And I actually just want to touch this one with a bit of hot sauce. This is just like a regular Frank's hot sauce. And we must, we have to, obviously, pop the top. Too hot to touch. Look at that, oh my goodness. It's everything you ever wanted and more in a breakfast sandwich, I have, I would say. So let's get these guys in the middle. Bring our boys, our sausage. Maybe get a little thumbnail action with that. Got the ketchup. It's a no pour up day. I think this is bad enough. I'm just going to keep it with the ice water. And now that I've wet my beak a little bit, it's time to smush. Which one do I go for first? I truly honestly believe that the... I truly honestly believe that the Valentina mayo is where my heart lies. <clears throat> Watch this egg. She's about to burst. She is about to burst. Ladies and gentlemen, breakfast is absolutely served. And it is actually about 3 4 o'clock in the morning here. How red did I get? The 
does it really matter with food like this in front of you? I don't think so. The sriracha mayo. Valentino. I keep saying sriracha. I'm so used to breakfast sandwiches. Having sriracha mayo. Different level. Okay, come on. That's a sausage tang right there. That's how a breakfast sausage is supposed to be. Super brown, super crispy, definitely ketchupy. One of those food items I did not appreciate as a kid. It took me a long time to truly get good with our breakfast sausage. You'll have to excuse my ice machine. It's acting a fool right now. It sounds like it's someone peeing. It's not someone peeing. It's just my ice machine. I swear I'm alone. I swear I'm in quarantine. Don't send the government after me. Yo. The snap is the first thing to acknowledge. But the other thing to acknowledge, and if you know the reason why down below, tell me please down below. Whatever seasoning they use in the sausage to me it has like this like almost almost fennel taste but not fennel i know the answer in today's day's world today's day's world is literally a google away so maybe i'll do that after this but i would like to know if anybody knows all right <clears throat> the ham and cheese pickle mustard mayo one certainly intrigued to to know which will reign supreme. Mm, that drip though, look at that drip. winner it's way more balanced not nearly as rich the pickles and the mustard cut through the egg yolk the cheese the meat even the hash brown the hash browns add like a richness to it so Having the pickle and having the mustard in there, crucial. Absolutely crucial. I need to open 
many various sandwich shops. But also it's the way that you build it. The fact that the mustard and the pickle are close to the bottom. It's what your tongue gets first. And then as you come up into the richness of the egg and the cheese, that's when that richness meets that sharpness. And they just fucking battle it out to a, to a draw. else have a fucked up brain like mine and every time I say ice water they think they think of I swatter or the flies water but on your eye ice water I say it Nice change of pace. It makes the meal <clears throat> go down smoother. Sometimes. She extra crispy. I used to always love on like you know Easter's or whatever Christmas family makes like a massive breakfast and then like <clears throat> later on hour later there's like some leftover sausages if you're lucky a couple bacon strips But they're like cool down and like congeal. And you go and like thief those in like an hour when you're kind of hungry again. I feel like breakfast food is that kind of food where I get hungry quick after it. Like it doesn't fill me up for a long time. What can I say? Absolute beauty full send of a meal uh would love to do another one like that on the grill and just think of some other shit so anyways hope you enjoyed that one till the next one eat good live well stay true